Hi everyone, I'm Liam, and right now I'm in a city famous for football, music, and the textile revolution. It was once called Cottonopolis, and in Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand, the name of the city is still used for household linens, such as sheets and pillowcases. That's right, I'm in Manchester. Being considered the second city in the UK, Manchester has a population of around half a million people and is the third most visited city in Britain. It was the world's first industrialised city and is nowadays popular among students. The city is characterised by red brick buildings, like this one. And this is the Manchester Town Hall. It was built in a Gothic revival style and is considered to be one of the most important buildings from the Victorian era. And it's easy to see, I mean, just by looking at it, it's really quite an impressive structure. I like all of the small details all the way from the top on that clock over there and around the windows and yeah, it's beautiful. The city has 135 parks, gardens and open spaces like this one. And here we have the Science and Industry Museum where you can learn more about the history of Manchester and the Industrial Revolution. Let's go check it out. Wow, so this is the world's first locomotive. It's called the Rocket. And this is the one that proved that the locomotive was a reliable way to transport people between cities. The first intercity rail was between Manchester and Liverpool. Wow, we've essentially got a whole factory here with all sorts of exciting machines. Look at all the detail on all of these ones with the threads going from different points on the machine. You can only imagine what it was like to create the first one. So these machines actually turn the raw cotton into finished cloth. And just by looking at it, I can honestly say I have no idea how it works, but I mean, it, it looks pretty legit. That's what I'll say. Well, there's so much cotton there. It looks so soft and fluffy. I want to touch it. But it's interesting how it goes from this fluffy state all the way to clothes that we wear like this. It's kind of hard to fathom, even though I can see it right in front of me. But anyway. That's technology for you. Wow, this has been a really fun and mainly eye-opening experience. I personally didn't know how much went into creating textiles and clothes in general. So yeah, this is really, really fun to learn all about this. Manchester has a number of different skyscrapers built in the 1960s and the 1970s. And the Beetham Tower, as you can see behind me, completed in 2006, is the tallest one. It's actually the tallest skyscraper in the UK outside of London. And it really stands out next to all the other red brick buildings. It's almost as if someone took it from London and just sort of dropped it here. Yeah, I like it. And this is the Central Library. It was built in the 30s and is loosely inspired by the Pantheon in Rome. I heard they have a music section. Sounds interesting. Let's have a look. Ah, here we are. Manchester music. As I mentioned before, Manchester is very famous for its music. Here we can see, for example, Morrissey, a very popular artist from Manchester, Joy Division. Let's see here, The Smiths, another famous band from Manchester. My dad is a big fan of them. Oasis, I'm a, a band that I'm sure pretty much everybody watching at home has heard of. And if you don't know the name Oasis, at least you must have heard the song Wonderwall. If you haven't, Google it, I'm sure you've heard it. There's no way you missed that song, trust me. Fun fact, the lead singer has the same name as me, Liam, Liam Gallagher. Another fun thing about the music library is that there is actually, there's actual music playing. And so it's like, it's not a traditional library, it's actually a music library, you know? So you can read music while listening to music, live music. I've had a great day here in Manchester, exploring the city and getting to know more about it. I found it very interesting to learn about the Industrial Revolution and all the inventions that come from here. What's the most important invention in your opinion? It could be the telephone, it could be the boat, it could be the wheel. 
Leave your comments below and the best comment can win this prize, a book about 64 geeks who changed the world. And if you're wondering, Liam, what about the football? Don't worry, next week I'll be visiting the Manchester United Football Stadium, Old Trafford. See you then.